London, Christmas Eve, a crooked man sits in his office. Uh, Mr. Scrooge? <laughs> what do you say? I was, I was wondering, because it's Christmas Eve and all, that perhaps I could uh, leave work early today. Ah, oh, humbug. But uh, not early. Scrooge, as you can see, is a ho horrible, measly old man, unlike a code to the employee, never gives money to charity and kicks small animals for fun. Much like a sc Scrooge heads to his cold dark home, sits by a small fire and eats a bowl of gruel. The bell begins to tinkle, getting louder and louder, until it's so loud it sounds like a heavy chain rattling. A ghost appears, wrapped in a heavy chain. Ooh. Ah! Go away! I shall not, Ebenezer Scrooge, for I have come with a warning. Who are you? You knew me as Jacob Marley, your business partner. That's that's uh, not possible. <laughs> You then, 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 it's two years. I'm a ghost, dummy. If you don't change your ways, you will be weighed down by heavy chains such as these. They're rubbish. They don't ever leave for you. It matters not. This Christmas Eve, you shall be visited by three ghosts. Learn your lesson or face your doom. With the ghost, with the ghost of Jacob Marley vanishes, Scrooge little throat and goes to bed. The first ghost appears in the shape of a candle. What uh, are you? I am the spirit of Christmas past. Come with me, Scroogey boy. The ghost takes Scrooge's hand and vanishes through the wall and appears inside a warehouse. Do you know where you are? Oh yes. Oh do you see where I you work yeah. An old man appeared with a young version of Scrooge himself. How possible that old Easy wings and me. Shush, just watch. Come now, Scrooge, let's decorate the warehouse and prepare the food for we shall throw the biggest Christmas party there has ever been. But, Mr. Fezziwig, the cost of this party is too much. Nonsense, my dear boy. For the sake of a few quid, we shall bring much joy to many people's hearts. Young Scrooge and Fezziwig face themselves preparing for the party. Some people began to arrive Yay! and the party began with music and lots of lovely food. See now, Scrooge. See what happiness you can bring by a little generosity. Ah, yeah. oh, humbug! Yeah. Oh, in the blink of an eye, Scrooge appeared back in his bedroom, alone. The clock struck two, and the sound of jolly laughter could be heard. <laughs> <laughs> Ebenezer Scrooge. Ah. Here are you. I am the spirit of Christmas present. 
well the spirit. Let's uh, honey. It's is is over here. <sighs> Rude. Spirit takes Scrooge by the hand and they appear outside the poorhouse. The home of, of his employee Bob Cratchit. Where am I? Um, 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 spirit. This house is disgusting. This is the home of Bob Cratchit and his wife and child, Tiny Tim. Scrooge watches as Bob's wife lays the table for their Christmas dinner. A poor feast for a few potatoes and cabbages. Bob Cratchit appeared with Tiny Tim. Good news, Mrs. Cratchit. We have found some turkey twizzlers by the bins. We shall have a wonderful meal this Christmas. Oh, that is good news. We shall eat like lords tonight. As they sit and eat, Tiny Tim coughs violently. <coughs> <coughs> Have a cup of water, my darling. Spirit is the child's unwell. Let's just say that the child will not see another Christmas. That is is a awful. Take me away. Um, here. Why do you care, Scrooge? All you care about is money, is it not? Scrooge appears once again back in his bedroom. A moment later, a bell can be heard ringing, getting louder and louder. A dark, shadowy spirit Appears before Scrooge. Your must be a spirit or a ghost of all the ghosts. It's you that I yeah. Uh, and mice. The spirit points to the door. Scrooge steps through the door and into a dark room. The uh, 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 spirit uh, it's, uh, uh, it's in the dark here. Yeah. Where am I? The spirit remained silent, but Scrooge could hear voices in the darkness getting closer. <laughs> I got a fine pair of boots. Pull them off his cold dead body, I did. <laughs> nice burning, but I did better than that. Look at these cufflinks. Solid gold they are. <laughs> well, I did even better than both of you. Look at these. What are they? Gold teeth. It took some pulling to get them out of his dead mouth. <laughs> Stingy and deaf as he was in life. Yeah, glad the old man is dead. <laughs> the spirit. It is a man who is is the death man. I speak of. The spirit remained silent. Spirit. I, uh, uh, um, um, this place. Uh, 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 take me is somewhere. Uh, 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 warmth and compassion. In a blink of an eye, 
Scrooge found himself inside Bob Cratchit's house. Yes. This is uh, uh, more like it. Scrooge soon realised that this is not the happiest home that this once was. Bob's wife sat alone crying. <laughs> yeah, it is there it where is oh that's it. At the point Bob Cratchy walks through the front door alone. Hello my love. I placed a flower on Tim's grave this morning. And he is Tim. Is is dead? Uh, no, no, no. Spirit, me away. Or is 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 happy home? I not bear it. With a whoosh of air, Scrooge found himself standing in a graveyard. Spirit, I beg you, I wish you to see not no more. Take me home. The silent spirit points up to the grave. It is spirit. I. Uh, 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 no wish you uh, see in me it is a uh, uh, horn that's a grave stone make me home I have uh, uh, seen it's Enough. The spirit remains silent, pointing. If it may have a charm, and I and and change my ways. The spirit still slowly pointed to the grave. Scrooge, Scrooge reluctantly gazed upon the gravestone and sees his own name engraved in the stone. Yeah, no! Scrooge awakens in a cold sweat. I'm in the night. What day is it? Hey. I can't last this Christmas day. You boy. Yes, it's you. That it's in me. The biggest turkey. Me. Yeah. Dog of Patchett's house. Scrooge was good to the world. He became a kind and generous man who was loved by many. His kindness saved Holly Kimson and enriched a great many more. Merry Christmas, everybody!